My beloved people, on behalf of Father Abbott, the monks, the sisters, we wish all of you a most happy, blessed, holy, and Merry Christmas. He has come, my beloved people. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men of good will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. As Saint Joseph and the Blessed Mother came to Bethlehem seeking shelter, did we not in our own lives see them coming to ourself, coming to our own home, coming to the heart, our heart and soul, seeking shelter? Have we opened our door to them? And if we have opened the door of our heart to them, the Christ child has been born in our heart. And there is nothing but ourselves that can take that away. Peace to men of goodwill. But if we keep our heart full of ourself, full of our worldly desires, full of worldly cares, then we, ourself, me, I am the innkeeper, and told Saint Joseph and the Blessed Mother, I have no room, go elsewhere. And they leave, and we have no Christ child within us, and we have no peace. Peace to men of good will. Why is it, my beloved people, that there is no peace in our world today? Because, my beloved people, so many of us are that innkeeper who has not good will and turns our blessed Savior into the cold, the darkness, the dampness, 
of the stable. That is why, my beloved people, that the world is always at war. But we who have opened our door to St. Joseph and the Blessed Mother and the Christ Child, we have peace. We live in the world, but we are not of the world. We have that goodwill. And that is why we have peace. Peace of soul. Peace of soul, my beloved people, is worth more than peace of the world. And until we realize that, we do not know what Christmas is all about. As our blessed Savior said in his public life, I came not to bring peace, but the sword. And that is for the worldly. But for those of God, we do have peace. And we are his children. But it is up to us, ourselves, me, to open that door and allow them, the Holy Family, to enter. And if they do not come in, why is that? If they hesitate to make their abode within us, why? Because they see something in us which offends them. We have kept part of our self-will. We have kept part of our pride. We have kept part of our anger, our selfishness. And then they go on to seek shelter elsewhere. There are two ways that we can look at Bethlehem and the Holy Family at Nazareth. We can go to their home and live with them. But also, they can come to our home and live with us. And if tonight, St. Joseph and our Blessed Mother came knocking at our door, yes, we would open it 
to see who was there. And then we see who it is that has come to us. And then, do we have to hide the magazines? Do we have to hide the books, the pictures? Do we have to change the channel on our TV? Delete our files in our computer, lest perchance we offend them. If we have to do any of this now, my beloved people, we are not men of goodwill. We have failed. And Saint Joseph and the Blessed Mother will go to where they are welcome. Peace to men of goodwill. God bless you, my beloved people, and let us be those men of goodwill. Let us need not have to change our daily life. Let us live justly, righteously, and we will have no fear that Christ will have to go elsewhere to live, for he will remain always in our heart, unless we of ourselves ask him to go elsewhere. God bless you, my beloved people. And Father Abbott also wishes to say a few words. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Merry Christmas, and may the peace of Christ to us of goodwill dwell in us and remain with us forever. Since the last time I saw you, I've been in bed with guards at the door. And the only reason why I'm here tonight is because I played a trick. A little piece of ice in the mouth when the inexorable thermometer was on the way allowed me to get here tonight. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I can tell you this here because it's safe. Otherwise, I wouldn't tell you. At any rate, above all things, I had to come in here tonight, no matter what, to greet you and to give you our love and to give you our peace and to assure you that you and yours 
and the ones you love most are really in our daily prayers, in our good works, in our sufferings, in our mortifications. Every day, we're not here just for us, few that we are. We're here for a reason, and you're that reason. And may Almighty God hear our prayer that he will bring blessing to you and those you love most. This Christmas, isn't it a sadness that here we speak of peace and we bring our Lord, a beautiful little boy, bringing another beautiful little boy and placing him in a crib, in a crib of peace in a world where we had, have to watch our step, every step we take being an extremely dangerous step that an explosion, an explosive thing could bring us all to our end. This is the world that we're in today. This is the world that we bring Jesus Christ in to tonight. My beloved people, you too be people of prayer. Be people of peace and harmony and love and goodwill. And as we pray for you, Please pray for us that Almighty God will always bless us and give us the strength to be here, to stand tall, so that we, you give us strength so that we can give you strength. And ask Almighty God and our blessed Lord as we look upon him hanging on the cross that he will always hold up our arms so that we may always be able to hold up his arms. My beloved people, would you please kneel while I give you my blessing.